Let's continue our discussion on string formatting. This is part two of string formatting. In this presentation, we will discuss only one topic. Let's see that topic. The topic that we will understand is f strings. So, without any further delay, let's get started and let's understand what is f string. f string is used to format a string. So, with the help of this technique, we can format a string. The syntax that we need to follow is this. We need to type f first, then within double quotes, we need to add our string and we can also add the external object within curly braces. In order to see this in action, how f string can be used to format a string, we need to open our command prompt and we need to activate the Python interactive shell. After activating the Python interactive shell, we are ready to type in the commands. Let's type name equal to just Preet and let's hit enter. We will not get any error message because this command is correct. Here we are providing name to this string, which means that name is pointing to the string just Preet. Let's now type city equal to Delhi. So city is our new variable pointing to this string Delhi. Now, if we hit enter, we will not get any error message. Let's now type f my name is name and I live in city. So, in this way, we can format this entire string using f string. First, we need to type f within double quotes. We can provide the string and within this string, we can provide any object of our choice. Here, we are providing this object called name. This name variable or object is pointing to the string just breathe. Eventually, this will be replaced by the string just breathe. So, within curly braces, we can provide our external objects and f string allows us to do that. Let's hit enter. We will get the string my name is just breathe and I live in Delhi. And let me tell you this point also that in place of double quotes, we can use single quotes as well. So, there is no restriction that you are allowed to use only double quotes. You can use single quotes as well. Also, in place of small f, we can use capital F. So, in place of small f, we are allowed to use capital F. And here in this example also, in place of small f, I have written capital F. And I am getting my name is just Preet and I live in Delhi. Okay. Now let's move on to the next point. Call to method of the string is possible. So it is possible to call a method of a specific string within our string that we want to include. So with f string, this is also possible. For example, let's open our command prompt and let's type name equal to just breathe and let's hit enter. Let's now type city equal to Delhi and let's hit enter. Then let's type f my name is name dot upper and I live in city dot upper. After this, we need to add this full stop as well. Now here, in place of just variables, we are calling the method upper. So name dot upper and city dot upper. The upper method of the string is used to capitalize the string, or in other words is used to capitalize each letter of the string. So, if we hit enter here, we will get my name is just Preet and I live in Delhi. So, each letter of the string is capitalized as we can observe. In this way, we can call a specific method of the string. Here, we have variable name and we are calling upper method of this variable or in other words, we can say that we are calling the upper method of this string because this variable is pointing to the string. So eventually we are calling upper method of the string. Here also we are calling upper method of some string. The string here in this case is Delhi. So eventually we are getting these strings in uppercase, which means each letter of these strings are now in uppercase. I hope this idea is clear. Let's move on to the next point. For better readability, multiline f strings can be used. So we can use multiline f strings for better readability. For example, 
Let's open our command prompt and let's type name equal to Jaspreet. Again, we need to hit enter. Let's type age equal to 29. Again, we need to hit enter. Let's type gender equal to male. Again, we need to hit enter. Note that here we have two strings and here we have just an integer. It's not a string. Now, let's type introduction equal to F. My name is name. So, eventually at runtime, my name is name will get replaced by my name is just breathe. We know the reason behind this already. Name variable is pointing to the string just breathe, right? So, within these curly braces, we have this object name. Eventually, this will get replaced by the string just breathe. If we now hit enter, we will not get anything because here we are not just having this string, we are putting this string inside this variable introduction. And here, in order to print this string, we need to tell Python that we are now interested in printing the contents of this variable introduction. For this, we need to type this variable here and then we need to hit enter in order to get the string. My name is Jaspreet. So, in order to print this string, we need to type introduction here and then we need to hit enter. In this way, we are telling Python to print the contents of the variable introduction. This time, we don't want to do this. I want to demonstrate the concept of multi line f strings. In order to add multi line f strings, we need to add a backslash here. So, after this closing double quote, we need to add a backslash if we are interested in adding one more line after this line. So, if we are interested in adding one more string, then we need to add a backslash here. Let's hit enter. We will get three dots in place of three arrows. This means we are not done with this command yet. Let's type f my age is age. And then again, after this closing double quote, we need to add a backslash. This means we also want to add one more line. So let's hit enter. Again, we will get these three dots. Let's type f. I am a gender. Now, I want to stop here. So, I have not added a backslash here. This means that if we hit enter, we will get these three arrows, which indicates that we are done with the previous command. So, in this way, we can spread f strings in multiple lines. Now, if we type introduction and if we hit enter, we will get the string my name is just breathe. My age is 29. I am a male. Eventually, name will get replaced by just breathe. This age will get replaced by 29. And gender will get replaced by male. So, this is the reason why we are getting this string. But note that we are getting this string in a single line, although we have written f strings in multiple lines. We have added multi line f strings, not multi line strings. This concept is all about multi line f strings, not multi line strings. We already know how to add multi line strings in Python. Right now, we have just understood how to spread f strings in multiple lines. Now, this is not the only way to add multi line f strings. In place of backslashes, we can use round brackets, which means that we can wrap this entire thing within round brackets like this. So, we have wrapped all f strings within round brackets. Now, let's type introduction once again and let's hit enter. We'll get my name is just breathe, my age is 29, I am a male. We will get the same string. Now, let's see one more way to add multi line f strings. We can remove these round brackets now. And in place of these double quotes, we can use triple quotes. In this case, we can add triple quotes here and triple quotes here. So, we can eliminate these double quotes and these double quotes from here. So, in total, we need two triple quotes. One over here and the other one over here. So, we can add multi-line f-strings by eliminating all of the double quotes. And instead, we need to add triple quotes here and here. 
Along with this, we also need to eliminate these Fs. So along with these double quotes, we need to eliminate these two Fs as well. So in total, we will get two triple quotes, one over here and the other one over here. And we will get only one F here. So we'll get this one entire F string, but it is spread over multiple lines. Now if we type introduction and hit enter, we will get my name is just breathe backslash n backslash t backslash t my age is 29 backslash n backslash t backslash t i am a male now you might be wondering why are we getting backslash n backslash t backslash t over here as well as here the reason is pretty simple triple quotes also preserve new lines tabs and white spaces here after my name is name and then after this full stop, we have added a backslash n and we have also provided two tabs in order to indent this entire string. We have indented this entire string for readability purpose. Here these two tabs are also preserved. That's why we are getting backslash t backslash t here. And backslash n means new line. Because before these tabs, we have added a new line. And the reason why we are getting backslash n backslash t backslash t over here, because here also we have added a new line and two tabs. I hope this concept is clear. So triple quotes also preserves new lines, tabs and white spaces. So we have understood multi-line f strings in details. Let's move on to the next point. Any type of quotation marks can be used. We can use any type of quotation marks in an f string for example we can type f within double quotes we can provide our external object within single quotes and curly braces we need to specify the external object remember that it is not always necessary to provide an external object through a variable we can directly add our external object as well here i have added the string just breathe now if we hit enter, we will get the string just breathe. So we can wrap our f string within double quotes and inside we can provide single quotes. Now let's type f within single quotes, these curly braces and the string within double quotes. We need to make sure that if we are having single quotes here outside, then inside we must have double quotes. Similarly, if we have double quotes outside, then inside we must have single quotes. If we hit enter now, we will get the string just breathe. Always remember that Python will result a string in single quotes only. This is also important to understand. Now let's type F and then within triple quotes, we need to type just breathe. This is also correct. If we hit enter, we will get the string just breathe. Now let's type F triple quotes and then within these triple quotes we need to type just breathe this time we have single triple quotes not double triple quotes if we hit enter we'll get just breathe once again so we can use any type of quotation marks these are totally allowed let's move on to the next point backslash can be used to escape the quotation marks so with backslash we can escape the quotation marks for example, let's type F within double quotes this entire string. I am just Preet and I live in Delhi. We know that if we hit enter, we will get syntax error, invalid syntax. We have seen this already in our previous presentations. These double quotes are not allowed within the string. So we need to escape them. In order to escape these double quotes, we can add backslash in front of them. So eventually we'll get this string. I am backslash double quote, just breathe backslash double quote. And I live in backslash double quote, Delhi backslash double quote, and then full stop. And then this closing double quote, which indicates that this entire string is finished. Now let's hit enter. We will get I am just breathe and I live in Delhi. So these quotes are now preserved as you can see. So this is all about escaping the quotation marks. Let's move on to the next point. Output should include curly braces. 
Now this is an interesting thing. Let's see this in action. For this we need to open our command prompt. And now I want you to type x equal to 10. Let's hit enter. Let's type y equal to 20. And again let's hit enter. Let's type f. Within these double quotes, the result of x plus y is 30. We know that if we hit enter, we will get the string. The result of x plus y is 30. Which makes sense. We want to print this entire string. The result of x plus y is 30. And we are getting this string. The result of x plus y is 30. But here in the string, we have not included any external object. Apart from external objects like x and y, we can also add expressions. For example, instead of 30, we can type x plus y within curly braces. And this will evaluate down to this result that is 30. So if we hit enter at this point, we will get this entire string. The result of x plus y is 30. I hope this concept is clear. So we are getting this string. The result of x plus y is 30. Here eventually at runtime, x will be replaced by 10 and y will be replaced by 20. x plus y is equal to 30 and this is the reason why we are getting 30 here. Note that within curly braces, whatever we write is an external object. Here x plus y is without curly braces and here x plus y is with curly braces. This means that this will be evaluated to a value. x will be replaced by 10 and y will be replaced by 20. 10 plus 20 gives us this result 30 and this is the reason why we are getting 30 here. Now let's say that we are interested in wrapping this x plus y within curly braces. This means we are now interested in printing curly braces on the screen along with x plus y. Now how it could be done? We are now interested in escaping curly braces. We want to print curly braces without evaluating x plus y. In order to do this, we need to wrap x plus y within double curly braces. Which means two pair of curly braces. So here we need to wrap x plus y within two pair of curly braces. And the result that we will get is the result of x plus y is 30. This time x plus y is wrapped within a pair of curly braces. If we want that the output should include curly braces, then we need to use two pair of curly braces instead of just one. Now, let's say that in place of 30, we want 30 within curly braces. This means within a pair of curly braces, we want 30 to be printed. Now we know that whatever is there inside these pair of curly braces will be evaluated down to this value 30. And we will not get this value within curly braces. But if we want to add curly braces in the output, then we need two pair of curly braces outside this entire thing. This means we will get a total of three pair of curly braces in this case. So now we are getting this result. The result of x plus y is 30. But x plus y is wrapped within curly braces and 30 is also wrapped within curly braces. So I hope this concept is entirely clear. With this, we would be able to output the curly braces as well on the screen. So we are done with this entire topic which is f strings. We have understood the complete concept of f strings. We have learned how f strings can be used to format strings. And we have understood the entire concept in details. Okay friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation. I will see you in the next one.